Hey folks, it's Dr. Sean Baker here. Let's talk a little bit about raw meat. Now, some people think it is the ideal food for us. Others say, hey man, watch out, there's lots of parasites, pathogens. Other people say, hey, it just doesn't taste very good. So today, let's walk through some of the history of popular raw meat dishes, talk about some of the pros and cons of eating raw meat. And at the end, I'll talk about my personal experience with that and my opinion on raw meat. So let's start things off by talking about some of the origins. One of the most popular raw meat dishes that some of you guys have probably experienced called beef carpaccio. So Interestingly, back in the 1950s, there was this countess in Italy by the name of Amalia Nani Mosinigo, and she visited a place called Harry's Bar in Venice, Italy. Now, apparently her doctor had told her, you need to stay away from cooked meat. She still wanted meat, so she asked the chef to make a dish with raw meat. And so he scratched his head and thought of something, and put it together, and he ended up making what is now known as beef carpaccio. So he took some thinly sliced raw meat, often we use tenderloin for this purpose, and mixed it with a cream sauce, and they didn't know what to call it. And so he asked the owner of the bar what he should call it, and it kind of, the, the presentation reminded him of a certain picture by a Venetian painter by the name of Vittore Carpaccio, and therefore it was named Carpaccio. So this is the origin of that, that particular dish. Now, the other one that's often commonly uh, talked about is something called steak tartare. Now, there is a couple different theories on where that got its name. One was that this dish dates back to about the 13th or 14th century when Mongolian war warriors, often known as tartars, tenderized meat on their saddles and then ate it raw. There was another theory that a tradition began when the French Polynesian tradition of eating raw meat combined with George Escoffier's revamp of French tartar sauce. No matter how it began, what resulted is the steak tartare that we have today. Now, there are other raw meat dishes of which I don't think I've had any of these. Uh, maybe you guys have and can comment on this. So things like yuko, gourd, gore, kifto, uh, obviously sashimi and sushi, which I have had, larb, crudo, uh, kibanaya, of course, oysters, raw oysters, and things like that. So from fish to beef to lamb, raw meat has become a staple and has been around the world. But before you go all in on eating raw meat, it's important to take a close look at some of the pros and some of the cons of eating raw meat. So one of the pros is it's kind of kind of boring, which you would say, why would that be a pro? Well, for many people that are trying to lose weight, it, it doesn't cause you to overeat that. So you get kind of bored of eating it, so you just kind of stop eating as much, so you consume less meat. So some people will say that by eating raw meat, they actually lose more weight. Now, one of the cons is that, you know, despite some of the claims, there are, there are some studies out there to show that cooking meat actually provides more bioavailability to certain nutrients such as things like proteins. And so it's kind of controversial, but there's some evidence that's an, an issue. There are studies looking, again, at eggs, where it's kind of off top, but cooking eggs seems to increase the protein bioavailability in, in many cases as well. Um, raw meat, certainly you are more prone to exposure to pathogens, and uncooked meat is a good breeding ground for pathogens. So parasites can thrive on meat, so it's very important to be, be mindful of the temperature by which you, you attempt to eat raw meat. If it's above room temperature, it can be a problem. E. coli, salmonella, listeria, and other bacteria are some that are able to thrive in meat. Other pathogens such as roundworms can thrive in meat. Cooking meat generally destroys these, but some people really, really like to eat raw meat, which brings me to my next point. So if you're gonna eat raw meat, get high, high quality meat, whether it's fish, beef, or other sources of meat, Make sure you source it very thoughtfully. Make sure you properly handle it well. Make sure you're mindful of the temperature that it's at. Avoid raw ground meat for the most part because again, much of the meat that goes through some of these commercial processing machinery can be contaminated and then the raw meat is difficult to sterilize. You know, it's different from a steak where you can sear the surface and kill any surface bacteria. So if you wanna have raw ground meat, it might be better just to grind it yourself. You know, tuna, beef, oysters, and other meats commonly eaten raw have specific types of storage preparations. So be mindful of that so that you're not exposed yourself to pathogens and so again finding a reliable source is one way to do that and so let me talk about my experience so I did try a raw carnivore diet for about several weeks and I didn't get sick but I certainly felt quite limited and bored I didn't enjoy the taste of it it was a chore to eat I didn't look forward to the food so I could see where you could you could potentially lose weight on that but I, I don't want to eat a diet that I don't enjoy so and I think none of you guys should either. So if you like it, go for it. Just be very careful with your sourcing. And there you go. So that's, that's kind of the basics for Raw Meat 101. Let me know which raw meat dishes you have tried in the past or if you are willing to try it or not willing to try it. Why and why so. Like, subscribe, and eat some more meat, guys. Dr. Baker, we'll talk to you soon.